My friends, as you ready your hearts and minds for this prayer, be assured that it holds the promise of boundless blessings, divine protection, and deliverance, all specifically designed for the month of November. This prayer is more than just words. It is a spiritual key to unlock God's abundant treasures for you this month. Every word, every plea is infused with faith and hope, channeling God's grace for the unique days that November brings. By choosing to listen to this prayer daily, regardless of where you are, whether at home, in your car, during your commute, or in moments of solitude, you are making a deliberate decision to be enveloped in God's love and promises, to walk under His protection, and to experience His powerful deliverance. Picture starting each day of November with a heart brimming with expectancy, knowing that you are not alone but are guided, guarded, and blessed by the Almighty God. This is the power of consistent prayer. Therefore, I wholeheartedly urge you to make this prayer your daily companion. Allow its words to resonate within you, igniting your faith and fortifying your spirit. Embrace the blessings that God has prepared for you. Lean into His protective care and experience deliverance from anything that binds or seeks to hinder you. November, with its days of change and renewal, is your month of triumph. Armed with this prayer as your shield and sword, step forward with confidence, joy, and an unwavering belief in God's promises for you. Dear friends, November is a month of profound significance. It stands as a testament to God's magnificent design, crafting each season with purpose and intent. Think about how it bridges the vibrant colors of autumn, showcasing God's artistic splendor and ushers in the tranquility of winter, reflecting His peace. As we enter this promising month, let us remember that just as God guides the rhythms of nature, He also guides our paths. Embrace this month as a chance for growth, introspection, and empowerment. Each new dawn in November is a gentle reminder of God's unending love and faithfulness. Every day carries a message, one that resonates with hope, potential, and God's constant presence in our lives. Consider the trees shedding their leaves during this season. Just as they let go of the old to make way for the new, we are invited to release burdens, regrets, and negative thoughts that have held us back. By doing so, we open the door to new hopes, dreams, and perspectives. Let us recall the words from Jeremiah 29.11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. As this verse reassures us, we stand in faith with you, believing that this month of November is meant for your success, peace, and deliverance. Even if challenges come your way, they are merely stepping stones leading you towards your destined path. November is a time of gratitude for many, particularly with the celebration of Thanksgiving in some regions. Let us also adopt an attitude of gratitude this month. Whether we celebrate Thanksgiving or not, being thankful for what we have, recognizing our journey, and appreciating our milestones can make a significant difference. As the scripture in 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Every day of this beautiful month of November, Let's remember that we serve a God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In a world that constantly shifts like sand beneath our feet, God remains our steadfast rock. Psalm 18.2 declares, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. As we embrace this new month, we shouldn't just walk, we should march. March with the confidence that Romans 8.31 speaks of. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, 
Who can be against us? Reflect on this. Who or what can stand against us when the God of the heavens and the earth is for us? We have received numerous testimonies of victory from our October prayer, and we stand in faith that November will be even better. Therefore, I encourage you, my friends, to use this converted Mr. Anderson prayer every day throughout the entire month of November. Listen and pray each day, absorb it, and witness how God will move in your life. Keep a journal, document the changes in your life, character, and relationships. When God's word says in Isaiah 55:11, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Believe it, my friends. Expect your prayers to bear fruit. Let's open our hearts, hopes, and spirits through prayer, aligning our intentions for personal growth, blessings, protection, gratitude, healing, and deliverance. As we dedicate this month of November to God, let us entrust today and tomorrow into His capable hands, eagerly anticipating His divine intervention in our lives. Now to everyone hearing my voice, let us turn to the Lord in prayer. I encourage you to listen to or recite this prayer with faith. Play it in your homes, cars, or wherever you may be, so that you can receive all the blessings this prayer offers. Let us pray to our gracious and merciful, sovereign, living, loving God together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, Sovereign King, and Lord of all, you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I come before you with a humble heart, offering my thanks and praise. You are the God who makes the impossible possible, the miracle worker, the keeper of promises. There is no one like you, for you are great, Lord, and worthy of all praise. Your greatness is beyond measure. Father, I am thankful for the gift of life. I appreciate your steadfast faithfulness to me throughout this year and for leading me through this month. I seek your forgiveness for my sins and failings. Purify me from all unrighteousness and renew a right spirit within me. I also forgive those who have wronged me, just as you have forgiven me. Father, I open my heart to receive your divine blessings this month. I am thankful that you are the giver of all good and perfect gifts. In your boundless mercy, Lord, I humbly ask for your blessings in my life. Your word in Jeremiah 29 promises a future filled with hope. I ask that you open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessings upon me. May my days be filled with the testimony of your favor and goodness, and may I walk in the light of your promises. Lord, as I navigate through this month, I pray that each step I take lands on fertile ground. Bless the work of my hands, and may all my efforts yield abundant fruit. I embrace the promises of Psalm 1 over my life, declaring that I will be like a tree planted by streams of water, always thriving and never withering. Dear Lord, each new morning is a testament to your enduring love and grace. For this month, I ask that you bless my mornings, greeting me with fresh mercies every day. Let my path shine brighter and brighter, as stated in Proverbs 4. I declare that my path is like the shining sun, growing ever brighter until the perfect day, guiding me to the fullness of your purpose for my life. In times of worry, doubt, and uncertainty, Father, remind me of your steadfast nature and your promises that endure through all circumstances. Like Abraham, even when things seem impossible. Let my faith remain unwavering, confident in the blessings you have promised. Lord, let your blessings not only touch my life, but also overflow to those around me. Make me a vessel of your love, favor, and blessings, showing your goodness in tangible and meaningful ways. 
mighty God, who has never lost a battle, I stand firm in the confidence that victory belongs to Jesus. When challenges arise, let my heart remain steadfast, always trusting in your victory. Time and again, from the walls of Jericho to the Red Sea, you have proven to be the God of the impossible. Therefore, every giant before me, every mountain that seems insurmountable, I declare their downfall in the name of Jesus. Praise be to God who grants us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I claim this victory over every aspect of my life. In moments when the enemy tries to sow fear, worry, and doubt, I ask that you fortify my inner being. Just as David faced Goliath with only a sling and a stone, I stand armed with the knowledge of your might. In the name of Jesus, I confront my battles with unwavering faith. I reject every scheme of the enemy against my life. No weapon formed against me shall prevail, for the battle belongs to you, O Lord. With you by my side, every chain is shattered, every yoke is broken, and I walk in triumphant victory. As I revel in the triumphs you bestow upon my life, let me never forget to give you all the glory, honor, and praise, for it is by your Spirit, not by might nor power, that I am victorious. Creator of all things, I lay before you my plans, dreams, and every endeavor. I seek your guidance in every step I take. Your word in Proverbs 16.3 says, Commit your works to the Lord, and your thoughts will be established. Lord, I commit all my endeavors into your capable hands. May every endeavor I pursue and every goal I aspire to align seamlessly with your divine will for my life. Let my actions be evidence to your wisdom and understanding. Envelop me with your favor as a protective shield, clearing the path for success and breakthrough. Lord, grant me the determination to persevere even when faced with obstacles. Teach me resilience, drawing strength from you, my never-ending source. When discouragement tries to creep in, I stand on the words of Philippians 4, verse 13, and declare, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Lord, guide me to be a good steward of the blessings you have given me, not just for my benefit, but also for the advancement of your kingdom. Let every success in my life bring glory to your name, knowing that it's you who equips, guides, and blesses my efforts. With a grateful heart, I receive the blessings you have destined for me. O Lord, my steadfast refuge and fortress, in you I find unwavering protection and security. As promised in Psalm 91, you command your angels to guard me in all my ways. Throughout this month, be my shield and buckler, defending me from all harm and danger. Every snare set by the enemy, every pitfall on my path, I nullify in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that no evil shall befall me and no plague shall come near my dwelling, as your word assures in Psalm 91. Father, I hold fast to the promises of Psalm 121 knowing your watchful eyes are always upon me. I rebuke every spirit of malice, envy, and hatred directed towards me. Surround me, Lord, with your hedge of protection, and let your ministering angels encamp around me. As I navigate through life, keep me from falling into the traps of the wicked. When fear tries to overwhelm me, I will not be afraid, for you are with me. I will not be dismayed, for you are my God. Strengthen me, Lord, and uphold me with your righteous hand. Father, as I lay down to sleep, and as I go about my daily tasks, let your protective hand rest upon me. No terror of the night, nor destruction during the day, can stand against the protective power of your name. Dear Lord, in all things, I rest in the assurance that my life is hidden with Christ and nothing can snatch me from your protective embrace. You are my shield, my protector, 
and my ever-present help in times of need. I thank you, Lord, that you will preserve me from all evil. You will preserve my soul. Through your grace and mercy, I move forward each day knowing that the battle is already won and that I am shielded from every form of evil. God of strength and wisdom, I seek your guidance to resist and overcome all temptations and trials. When temptations arise, let the Holy Spirit remind me of your word and promises. I choose to turn away from temptations, striving to honor you above everything else. Grant me the wisdom to see through the enemy's deceptions and the bravery to reject them. I rejoice in the victory that is already mine through Christ Jesus. Even when temptations arise, I know I am more than a conqueror through your love. I stand resolute, anchored in your promises, prepared to face and triumph over every temptation that comes my way. Lord, you are the Prince of Peace, and I surrender all my burdens, worries, and anxieties at your feet. When fear tries to paralyze me and doubt seeks to erode my faith, remind me of the countless times you've been my deliverer. Your faithfulness is a testament to your unwavering love and care for me. Father, guide my thoughts and renew my mind. Let my meditation dwell on things that are true, noble, just, pure, lovely, and praiseworthy. As I focus on these virtues, let the weight of worry be replaced with the joy of your salvation. I thank you for the peace that envelops me, a peace that surpasses all understanding. No matter the storms I face, I remain steadfast, because you, Lord, are my refuge and strength. Merciful Father, loving Lord and Savior, I lift up my loved ones before you. Every family member, every friend, every cherished soul and every supporter, I place them into your loving care. I pray that you will dispatch your guardian angels to vigilantly watch over my loved ones, shielding them from all harm in their comings and goings. Be their divine guide, ensuring their steps are meticulously ordered by you. In moments of uncertainty or peril, Lord, be their unwavering defense. Let them feel your presence, finding solace in your promise to always be with them. Lord, even when my loved ones are beyond my sight, let them never be beyond your protective embrace. Shield them from the arrows that fly by day and the pestilence that stalks in the darkness. May they experience the warmth of your love and grace and the security of being held in your hands. I entrust them to your hands, Lord, confident in your unwavering care. God of boundless love and unity, as I lift my loved ones in prayer, breathe your spirit of reconciliation upon us. Where there are rifts or misunderstandings, Lord, bring your healing and forgiveness. Bind us together with unbreakable cords of love. Teach us to bear with one another, to forgive, and to uplift each other. Let our home be a living testament to 1 Corinthians 13, radiating patience, kindness, and enduring all things in love. In times of disagreements or conflicts, let your peace, Prince of Peace, reign supreme among us. May we be swift to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Gracious Lord, transform our family into a beacon of your love, unity, and grace. Let our home overflow with love, where unity prevails, and every member grows in the knowledge and reverence of you. Compassionate Lord, my healer and supreme physician, I approach you acknowledging that you are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. In times of physical pain, discomfort, and emotional distress, I look to you. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are my praise. I hold on to this promise, seeking your divine touch on every afflicted part of my body and soul. I reject every sickness, every disease, and every discomfort in the name of Jesus. I proclaim my healing, confident that by the stripes of Jesus I am healed.
As the days pass, let me feel your healing power coursing through me, sustaining and strengthening me. May every symptom fade, every pain ease, and every illness be eradicated. Lord, I trust in your divine power to restore my health completely. Let your healing touch flow through every cell, every organ, and every system in my body. Renew my strength and vitality, and let me rise each day with renewed energy and vigor. I declare that my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, and no sickness or disease can dwell within me. In moments of doubt or fear, remind me of your promises and the healing that is already mine through Christ. Let my faith be unwavering, knowing that you are the ultimate healer. Surround me with your peace and comfort, and let your presence be a constant reminder of your love and care. As I go about my daily activities, let your healing power continue to work within me, bringing restoration and wholeness. I thank you, Lord, for the miracles you are performing in my life. I praise you for the health and strength that are being renewed in me each day. Let my testimony be a beacon of hope and faith to others, showing them the power of your healing grace. Loving Father, I seek your healing touch for my emotional and mental well-being. Restore the broken parts of my life, bring me comfort, heal the wounds of my past, and renew my mind. Let every negative thought, every anxious feeling, and every shadow of depression be lifted in the powerful name of Jesus. I stand in faith right now. I gratefully receive the testimonies of your healing power in my life. I thank you for the assurance of restored health in my body, mind, and spirit. I will proclaim your goodness because I believe that you are restoring me day by day. O oh Lord, my Deliverer, you are my stronghold and I am grateful that I can find refuge in you during times of distress. Today, I cry out for liberation from every situation that seeks to bind or oppress me. Every serpent sent by the enemy, every hidden snare, I bind them and command them to be revealed and destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon formed against me shall succeed, and every tongue that rises against me in judgment I condemn. I pray for the strength to stand firm against temptations and distractions. Equip me with your spiritual armor so that I can withstand the schemes of the devil. I gird my waist with truth, don the breastplate of righteousness, and shod my feet with the gospel of peace. I take up the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is your word. Direct my steps away from snares and guide me on the path of righteousness. Lord, open my eyes to discern the schemes of the enemy. Keep me from being unaware of his tactics, but always vigilant and prayerful. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of darkness, confusion, and stagnation that tries to take root in my life. Lord, I praise you for the victory. As a child of God, I walk in dominion and divine authority, proclaiming my liberation from all forms of bondage. I stand resolute, knowing that whom the Son sets free is truly free indeed. Sovereign Lord, today I rise against every chain, every bond, and every shackle that seeks to imprison me. Every chain of limitation, every bond of addiction, and every shackle of fear I command them to break and be destroyed in the powerful name of Jesus. I proclaim my freedom and liberation from all that seeks to restrict and bind me. I pray for the strength to walk in this newfound freedom. Let my steps be steadfast, my resolve unbreakable, and my faith unwavering. Whenever I feel the pull of old habits or the burden of past mistakes, Remind me of the victory I have in you through Christ Jesus. Lord, I give thanks to you for breaking every chain and setting me free. Eternal Father, my Deliverer,
I seek your divine intervention to lift the burdens of generational curses and harmful words spoken over me. I ask that every negative word, every curse, and every unkind utterance against me be nullified in Jesus' name. Today, I proclaim that I am free from the mistakes and choices of my forebears. I shatter every chain that tries to bind me to past errors. Lord, guide me to guard my tongue and be mindful of my speech. May my words be infused with grace and brimming with life. I proclaim that I am reborn in Christ. The past is gone, and everything has been made new. I embrace this renewed life, liberated from all generational curses and harmful words. As I journey in obedience and faith, I look forward to a bounty of blessings beyond comprehension. I remain in this peace, grounded in your promises, and eagerly awaiting the testimonies that will arise from these prayers. Heavenly Father, I trust that you are orchestrating everything for my benefit and the well-being of my loved ones. As November begins, I offer you my gratitude. Each day of this month serves as a beautiful reminder of your abundant blessings and the spirit of thanksgiving. Lord, whether we partake in the tradition of thanksgiving or not, let our hearts be ever mindful of the countless blessings you bestow upon us daily. In all circumstances, we give thanks. Father, as the leaves descend and the winds shift, let us be grateful not only for the bounty on our tables, but also for the unseen blessings, the trials that have fortified us, and the challenges that have drawn us nearer to you. We are thankful for every lesson, every tear, every laugh, and every moment of solace. As we gather with our loved ones this month, may our conversations be filled with testimonies of your marvelous works in our lives. May our homes overflow with love, peace, unity, and praise. Motivated by your love and the gratitude within us, let us extend our hands to those in need, offer comfort to the troubled, and shine as beacons of your light in this world. May our hearts always resonate with gratitude, recognizing your presence in every season of our lives and expressing that gratitude through acts of kindness and generosity. Lord, we lift up to you those who may find it difficult to embrace the joy of this season. For the homeless seeking shelter, the lonely hearts yearning for companionship, those grieving the loss of loved ones, and everyone facing hardships or challenges unseen, let your comforting presence and Holy Spirit surround them. Send help, Lord, reminding them that they are never truly alone for you walk beside them in every season of life. Loving Father, I place my life into your hands. I declare that I am blessed every day of my life. I am blessed every day of November. I am blessed. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.